Cycling with a friend is always more fun than going out alone. But what do we do if our friends are outside of our 10 kilometer lockdown bubble? Is there still a way that we might be able to bike together? Let's see if GIS can answer the question for us. So I already know where my 10K exercise bubble is, but what I want to now be able to do is to find out where my friend's bubble is. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so I can find first of all where she lives. And then I'm going to come into the attribute table here of my home feature class. And what I want to do is to add a field or a column here, and I'm gonna call that name, and make sure that I change my data type to text. Now what that's going to allow me to do once I save that is to put some more information into my attribute table. So once I close that, you'll see that I now have another field or a column here. So the point that's in my home feature class at the moment is me, that's where I live. So I'm gonna hit enter and make sure I save. And then what I want to do is to be able to add a dot for my friend. So let's move that attribute table down a little bit and come up into edit and go to create. What I'm going to do is to create a new dot for my friend. So she lives around about here. You'll see that turn cyan because now it's selected and also the corresponding row in the attribute table is selected as well. So let's have a look. We put friend in there, hit enter and make sure then we save as well. Now my next step is to be able to create the bubble that my friend is allowed to go into as well. So we've got this selected, which means that when I, when I create my buffer, it will only work on the feature that's already selected. So let's open this here and go to home, which is this feature class that we're working on here. I'm going to call this friend buffer this time. And I'm going to make this 10 kilometers as well, because that's also what she's allowed to do, right? Once we do that, let's hit run and we'll see as that pops up. So we can close the attribute table, zoom out a little bit and make sure that we should now be able to see two overlapping buffers, which is great. Let's come back to map and make sure that we now deselect anything that's selected before we do the next component. Now, what I want to do is have a look at all the baseline roads and tracks in all of Queensland and be able to find the area where my buffer and my friend's buffer and the roads all intersect. And then all I'll be left with is this area in the middle where we know that we're safe to meet up and go cycling. So I'm going to use the analysis tool and come into here and I've already got intersect search for, so let's open that now. And we can add as many different feature classes as we want in here. So we're going to add the friend buffer. I'm going to add the home buffer. And then I'm also going to add the baseline roads and tracks. I'm going to make sure that my output feature class is going into the correct year database. And let's leave it there as friend buffer intersect. That makes sense there. Let's run that model and make sure that our output is okay. We can close all this off and check by turning off every little bit and piece in here and see what we've got left. So this is great. I can now see the places where we're both allowed to go to together. So perhaps we'll go and go for a bit of a ride around Holloway's and Machen's Beach. I'm excited that I'll get a chance to meet my friend out on a ride and still both of us being within our 10k lockdown bubble. Even better, my favourite bakery is outside my bubble but inside hers, so maybe she can grab a treat on the way out.